looking for a track coach? Can't find one? Let's find some ways to help you out. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm happy that you're here and hopefully we can help you go from potential to professional. So you realize that you need a coach. Maybe you're coming out of college and you're ready to go pro, but you're not quite all the way pro material, but you wanna keep going in track. Here are a few ways that you can find a coach that are a little bit different than most. The first way we're gonna look for a coach non-traditionally is to do some FBI work. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look for athletes who are doing well. Usually the easiest results to find are professional and collegiate results. When you can find athletes who've been developed over one to four years under one coach and who've seen great progress, those are the coaches that you're gonna reach out to, not just the coaches who coach the best of the best when they were already the best. All right, my little sleuths, we already have one way that's a little untraditional to find a coach, but for the second sleuthy way, it's time for you to get on Instagram. Tons of coaches are posting on Instagram. If you think about a coach, they need money to survive and they need athletes to come into their training programs. So a lot of them are advertising what they do on Instagram. You can go into the search bar of Instagram, type in hashtag long jump, hashtag pole vault, hashtag triple jump, and look through the posts. Tons of coaches post about their athletes. From there, you can actually take a look at what their training styles look like when you find different coaches' pages, and then you can reach out and DM straight through Instagram, which a lot of times coaches are looking forward to meeting you and seeing how you two can work together. So the last untraditional way, which a lot of people do not suggest you do, but we're being untraditional here today, is to coach yourself. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that's what I do. There's always an option to just go visit other coaches to learn pieces of what you need to do for your event, and then to come back home, take those pieces, put them together in a way that works for you. Now, that takes a ton of discipline. You're gonna have to learn how to periodize your own training. You're gonna have to be disciplined to find a track, find a weight room, put your program together, but it's not impossible. If you're up for it, you can do this. So this has been three non-traditional ways that you can find a coach, whether that be someone out there in the world that's excited to work with you but doesn't know you yet, or even if it's yourself. So thanks for stopping by today, and of course, I'll see you soon.